Hello, Kulas. Welcome back to Viva Barca, the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on some fresh updates. We are going to start with Usman Dembele. We are going to be discussing on two reports concerning Usman Dembele. We start with this one claiming that Barcelona are pessimistic about the renewal of the winger. Then also, we are going to be talking about the other report claiming that Barcelona would not have had a chance of renewing Dembele without Xavi's intervention. We are going to be discussing much on that. Then also talking about this transfer news claiming that Xavi identifies this Celta Vigo star Javi Galan as an ideal successor to left-back Jody Alba. We are going to be discussing on that as well. Then to conclude, we are going to be talking about this report claiming that Barcelona dressing room do not like the high salaries offered to two summer signings. Of course, Frankisi being one of them. We are going to be discussing on all those stories in much detail as we progress. So guys, as we get right into it, please do well to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, give the video a like and make sure to watch the video right up to the very end. FC Barcelona have kickstarted their efforts to tie down Ousmane Dembele to a new contract. The two parties were locked in negotiations back in January, but the attacker's exorbitant demands had left the board puzzled. Since then, Dembele has enjoyed a swift turnaround, with the attacker being involved in nine goals in the last seven league matches. He has played a critical role in Barcelona's renaissance under Xavi this year, with the forward even staring in the 4-0 win over Real Madrid, bagging two assists. Dembele's form has compelled Barcelona to restart contract talks. The player himself is believed to be keen on prolonging his stay at the Camp Nou and has a good relationship with Xavi. However, according to a report you know, from Onze TV3 in Spain, Barcelona are not fully confident of their chances of tying Dembele down to a new contract, primarily due to their huge finances involved in the operation. Although the Frenchman is keen on staying beyond the summer, he is still demanding a lucrative contract. It has made the operation quite tricky as Barca are currently experiencing a financial crisis and will be worried you know, of spending lavishly on player wages, especially in light of their spending limit being reduced to a negative figure by La Liga recently. Barcelona have struggled in the past by handing out lucrative contracts to players such as Coutinho and Griezmann. It has created a sense of pessimism within the camp that when it comes to the renewal of Ousmane Dembele. Xavi has given his order of priority when it comes to player renewals, with Dembele topping the list. But as the attacker continues to hold out for a lucrative deal, a renewal might only be a distant dream for Barcelona as it stands. Then still talking about Dembele in the next story of discussion, Barcelona's efforts to tie the Frenchman down to a new contract took a new road yesterday as club sporting director Alemani held talks with the player's agent Sissoko in Morocco this week. However, it seems that they have not reached an agreement as Alemani is already on his way back to Barcelona. Reports say that another meeting is set to take place soon. Barcelona were locked in negotiations with the Frenchman during the January transfer window, but its exorbitant demands had left the club's hierarchy in shock, with Barcelona asking the player to find a new club in January. Joana Porta and Co had their best to force the the former Borussia Dortmund started out of the club with the Barcelona president publicly insinuating that the player had agreed deal to sign for a new club. Barcelona's shift in stance over Dembele three months later is a testament you know, to the improvement the player has made under Xavi. Indeed, the explosive winger has enjoyed a swift turnaround since the start of, the, the, of February. He has registered one goal and eight assists in his last 10 competitive outings with his productivity in the final third playing a vital role in Barca's renaissance. Dembele remains determined to continue at the Camp Nou due to his return to form and an excellent relationship with Javi, but the player continues to hold out for a lucrative deal. When a Frenchman had talks with Barca back, back in January, there was a significant disparity between what the player was demanding and what the club were offering. In fact, the club was convinced that the Frenchman will not, in fact, renew his contract as such. Jean Laporta was set to give him the Iash Moriba treatment and send him to the stands for the remaining six months of his contract. Courtesy of Xavi's intervention, though, Dembele became a part of the squad dynamics and is playing better than ever before in a Barcelona shirt. In fact, he is among the first names on the starting lineup for Xavi. The coach was convinced that the Camp Nou 
you know, that was booing, Dembele will soon be applauding him. And that's what we are saying. In no less than two months, Xavi's prediction has come true as the home crowd stood in applause after his display versus Sevilla on the weekend where he created seven chances and registered an assist. Barcelona aimed to minimize that disparity by holding talks with Sissoko in, um, in Marrakech this week. Then on to the next story of discussion, Barcelona are in the market for a new left back this summer as they look to find a reliable long-term replacement for Jordi Alba. At the age of 33, the Spaniard is not getting any younger and the club soon need to sign a reliable deputy who can eventually fill his shoes in years to come. Barcelona have been linked with a host of talented left backs in the market so far, but according to Dario AS, it is Celta Vigo star Javi Galan who has emerged as the desired option for Xavi Hernandez. The Barca coach considers the Celta Vigo started as an ideal successor to Alba due to his technical prowess and the promise he has shown in La Liga over the past couple of years. A native of the southeastern city of Badajoz, Galan initially made his La Liga breakthrough last season with Huesca, racking up 37 league appearances. He made a solid impression with his technical quality and pace while also showcasing discipline and maturity. His impressive performances even earned him a move to Celta Vigo last summer and the defender hasn't disappointed either, quickly becoming a first team regular at the club with a total of 29 league appearances so far this term. Barcelona's interest in Javi Galan, you know, could mean the club are favoring cost-effective options in the market, given the fact that Barcelona had targeted other options such as Angelino of RB Leipzig, who will presumably cost a fortune. Jose Gaia was another candidate, but the Valencia captain might not be on board with the idea of playing second fiddle to Alba. Galan therefore appears to be the most sensible option, the 27-year-old has shown a lot of promise in La Liga and can only improve under the tutelage of Xavi next season. He is unlikely to cost a fortune either, despite having a long-term contract at Celta Vigo. Then on to the final story of discussion, although far from official, FC Barcelona have made quite a few moves in the transfer market so far, in an attempt to further strengthen their squad for next season. Andres Christensen is believed to be one of the players who has already agreed on a bossman move for to Camp Nou. The Dane is set to leave Chelsea on a free transfer and join the club next season, potentially as a long-term replacement for Gerard Piquet. In addition to Christensen, Barcelona have reportedly completed a deal to sign Frank Kisi. The AC Milanese feeder is also expected to join on a free transfer, as confirmed by Fabrizio Romano last month. However, according to a report from Sport, the Barca dressing room is not quite happy with the way how the club are willing to offer high salaries to these individuals. The report comes at a time when Barcelona are locked in negotiations over the renewal of several star players in the team, including Usman Dembele, Ronald Araujo and Gavi. Araujo in particular is a curious case as Barcelona are reportedly not willing to improve um, on their power 3 €4 million Euro per season offer even though the Uruguayan international will likely be ahead of Christensen in the pecking order next season. Gavi is another case worth mentioning as Barca have appeared reluctant to offer the youngster a lucrative wage package even amid interest from Liverpool who are reportedly willing to shell out 6 million euros per season for Gavi. Even Sergio Roberto was asked to take a massive pay cut in order to continue at the Camp Nou, something the midfielder initially denied. Just to put things into perspective, Franchisi is likely to earn 6.5 million euros per season while Christensen is set to receive 6 million euros per season package at Barca, making them considerably more expensive than Arago and Gavi. With more players expected to sign, Barca are facing a delicate situation and it will be interesting to see how the board tackles this issue as we gear up for an important summer ahead. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you did enjoy the video and also hope you did subscribe. If you haven't, please make sure to do so so you always stay in touch with the latest on FC Barcelona. Yeah, on Viva Barca. Until next time, bye-bye.